This, you know, the heat can really be overwhelming, mm -hmm. not just for us, but for the pets, too. Yeah, you heard Gary mention it. And 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth has more now from one local shelter that had to rescue lots of pets today that were left out in those dangerous conditions. As temperatures rise, so do the cries for help. In this backyard, two pit bulls chained up in near triple digit heat covered in flies. A neighbor alerted us to the conditions with pictures of sores around one of the dog's ears. We see this every day. The neighbor tells us she's been filling the dog's water bowls and repairing the outdoor crates in the hopes of keeping them cool. Dog advocate Kate Quigley says in this heat, the dogs need to come inside. A lot of people don't want to bring them in because they tear up the house or they might not be house trained, but we give people a crate and bring them in or get them in the garage, get them in the basement. We knocked on the owner's door, but no one answered. However, animal control has also been to the home three times this month alone, even issuing a citation June 2nd. Uh, the officer goes there and he sees the dog is in any type of distress, the animal will be removed. Animal control says the heat is a serious health risk, but so far these dogs have stayed put because they've been given all the legal necessities. If there's no water, there's no shade, the dog is laying in the sun, the dog will be rescued and taken to KC Pet Project. But Quigley thinks it's not enough. They've had ample opportunity to step up over here for these dogs and they, they just don't care. Our thanks to Josh Helmuth reporting, and Josh was told that both dogs have now been taken inside that house and that the dog owners are cooperating with officers this afternoon.